Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is a question from the Chem 13 exam, which is a contest from Waterloo University for Grade 12 Chemistry. For this question, I'm going to show you how to use the periodic table to determine which element has this electron configuration in its ground state. Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. Alright, so to use the periodic table to determine quickly the electron configuration of the, any element in its ground state, I've organized it into blocks. You can see this is the S block, the P block, the D block, and the F block. Notice helium is also technically right there for the S block. So helium would therefore be um, S2, because this is in the second one, it'd be 1S2. We would have 1, 2, three, four, and so on. So helium would be one, S, two. Okay, what about something like carbon? Well, carbon, we would have the whole first period, so we would have our one S, two, and then we'd have the, um, the second shell, two S, two, and then we would have P, so two P, all the way up to one, two. So you can quickly determine it. Similar if you went all the way down here to iron. And if you were to do iron, you'd have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So let's write this, 2p6. And then you'd have 3s2 and 3p6 and 4s2. And then you would have this. Now the tricky thing here is this, even though it's written as four for the D block, we're gonna subtract one from the period. So that would be three D and one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be iron. All right, so back to the question, which one has this electron configuration? So we have in the fourth period, all the way up to four P three. If we go all the way up to 4p3, here's 4p1, 2, 3. There you go. There's our answer, C.